Good good morning, family. At least it's morning where I am right now at this moment. Uh, I promise you I'd do another video, and uh, I also made some promises that I would give you the website. Uh, my website is not quite ready yet. It's almost there. But I had some... Um, um, revelations and some reminisce, reminiscing that I've done and I want to kind of share with you um, you know when I was a little girl and I first learned about slavery from my parents and uh, how her parent how my mom's parents used to be sharecroppers which were basically slaves to the land where you never you work on a farm for the white man but you never get out of debt from year to year so you end up having to stay there and produce labor where the white man was making all the profits and at the end of the year you're supposed to settle up but my grandparents never got out of debt to the white man um, that's one reason why my parents left Mississippi and came out to Washington my where my dad joined the military and um, ultimately became a lifelong postal worker and made a pretty good living but I can remember when my mother used to uh, sit us down and tell us about slavery and what her grandparents and well her great-grandparents went through um, I can remember feeling in my heart as if I were there and it was just very burdensome to me and as I got older um, in my preteens that feeling of um, having been enslaved for so long really weighed on my heart and I always wondered how one um, race of people could do that to anybody and I just feel like it was so horrendous even as a young person I was just kind of devastated by the news of that happening but if recently I've been thinking about the continued um, oppression and lies we've been told to the point where black people worldwide or at least in America we don't even know who we are we don't even know where we come from there are all kind of um, uh, rumors about where we came from how we got here we're not in the history books uh, maybe one or two pages I ever remember um, in elementary school they would brush over slavery and they were always in denial in our school system that it was as tragic as it was but as you learn more about what really happened it's very very disturbing and you know we've never had any counseling or therapy out of having been traumatized for 400 years is traumatizing so we as black people we live under a lot of stress and we have a lot of dysfunction but we are waking up we've got some young people right now that are on YouTube and there's all kind of uh, movements for instance I've mentioned the black Israelites um, if you put that in your search on YouTube you'll and look at some of their videos and see what their philosophy is um, there are people who thinks think well you know the Muslims the black Muslims we thought we were Muslims for a long time but as a little girl I can remember um, thinking that as black people we had an insight some kind of insight um, it, I don't know if it's a genetic memory but I always remember that blacks had something special and we had an empathy and a connection with the higher being I just always felt that and I still do so I'm saying that to say we don't know we can't depend on um, oh, the white society to tell us who we are where we came from history is written down we need to either study it or at least um, look at different theories now the black Israelites claim that we're the black original black Hebrews to whom God made his promises to that we are the chosen people and that our oppressors will ultimately pay for what they've done at the end of time um, but the caveat to that is we have to stay true 
to what we know is right. We, we do have to um, kind of study the Bible for ourselves and try to live um, to the best of our knowledge um, the way God wants us to live. And we've endured a lot. We have a lot of pain. We have a lot of um, social dysfunction. And we have a lot of trauma that we've suffered. It's not our fault. So I'm to the conclusion that I'm um, believing that we are God's chosen people. And if you listen to the Black Israelites, they have some scripture to back it up. But the reason why I choose to lean towards believing what they say is because if I believe lies, you know, and nobody knows, I'd rather trust my own people on what our history is rather than continuing to trust the white man because he doesn't mean us any good. He means us no good. That's why he imprisons our men or shoots them down in the street like dogs. Um, starve us. They try to starve us out. But notice, if you really knew what they did to us during history, it's amazing that we're still here. And for those of you who want to mix with other races, that's up to you. But as I find out more about what really went on in slavery and um, who people really, even the Jews, there are Jews on YouTube who thinks we're the lost Hebrew Israelites. So I would rather believe the stories that come out of Africa and from our own people than to keep believing what American society is telling us because they haven't done anything but lie, oppress us, kill us, and quite frankly, I don't believe in mixing. I think we should reserve our genes, and I think genetic history has memory, and the truth will be revealed to us, and we will know it when it comes. Um, so who do you, who are you going to believe? The history you've been taught in school, which is unfounded and washed over, or are you going to believe um, what what people from the Holy Land, even pe even Jewish people from the Holy Land is telling us that we're the Jews, we're the lost Jews of Israel. Um, uh, another subject I'd like to get on to, and we're not, we're not going to go into the hair today, and I know you guys are tired of looking at me looking like this, but I work. I have a regular job. Like yesterday, I worked 11 hours, and I'm just tired. But this is important, and I want to get this out to you. Now, do you realize that um, all of us are waking up? I've mentioned some other YouTubers to you before, Cynthia G., Dr. Boyce Watkins. Dr. Boyce Watkins is an economics professor. You need to look him up and, and look at some of his videos. Um, Cynthia G has been doing videos for a long time. She has a lot of followers. And um, YouTube, she has monetized her site and was making some money. I don't know what the status is now, and I'm not trying to get into her business, but she asked for um, some of her viewers, because she has like a half a million viewers, and she has hundreds of, she has thousands of people who um, follow her and have subscribed to her channel. And she asked for $5 a month for a certain period of time. And do you know she didn't get anyone to support her? Yet we watch her all the time, and I support her, and I subscribe to her channel. And she's a little extreme, but you know, a lot of what she's saying, you know, has truth and meaning, and you've got to listen to her. Now, I listen to these people, and Dr. Boyce Watkins is an economics professor. Um, he has a doctor degree in economics, and he is telling us to get our act in order and get our money in order. We can't do anything without money. So see, if these blacks on this on this platform, YouTube, want you to support them through their Patreon account, which you may not even know what that, because I didn't know what it was. I'm just learning about all of this stuff. Um, then just five dollars, you know, you spend five dollars on, you spend more than that on a pack of cigarettes. Uh, you spend that on, you know, you get a weave, you get your hair done for a hundred some dollars. Well, if we start supporting each other, 
and stop getting mad or trying to keep one, you know, we're like crabs in a bucket. We won't support each other because we're afraid that another black person is going to make some money. Well, let them make some money. Let somebody in our race make some money. And these people are acting in our best interest. They're giving us information and they're trying to inform us of what's going on. And they got to make a living. The white man ain't going to give them no job um, to pay what they're making on YouTube. And they do a lot of hard work and a lot of research to get all these messages out to it. And they do these videos on a regular basis. So they have to maintain their equipment. In some cases, they pay people to help them. So don't, don't be jealous or keep them from making money and support them. Just like if I had a grocery store down the street and the white man had a grocery store down the street, who are you going to go support? Most likely, most black people are going to go to that white store because we usually think the white man's ice is colder than our ice, but it's not. It's not. As a matter of fact, our ice is probably going to be a little bit sweeter, last a little longer, because, we're, you know, we're just trying to make a living. We're not trying to beat people out of their money, generally speaking. Now, you've got crooks in all all races, but for the most part, you know black people are honest. We just have to have a chance. And the reason why you think the blacks that you come across are dishonest, they're just hustling. They're trying to make some money. The white man doesn't give them a job, so why don't we support them and let ours make our money? What do you think when you go to Walmart? Don't you know that you're making the Walton family, that who are already billionaires, you're making them richer? So why not take that $5 a month and, and hand it into Patreon to one of the YouTubers that are asking for it? Now, the reason I went there is because um, YouTube, this platform, is worldwide, and blacks from all over the world listen to these videos from all over. This is a worldwide platform. This is not just in your neighborhood or in your city or in your state. This is worldwide, and this is the first time we've had any kind of platform where we can speak about our issues to our people. Now, when YouTube doesn't like the content, okay, and our people have our sites monetized, and we've gotten hundreds of thousands of viewers, which makes Google, who is the parent company of YouTube, we're making them billionaires just by being on here. And they have this platform where they pay peanuts if according to the followers and viewers and subscribers we have and then they'll start selling advertisements to advertising people and giving youtubers that have a lot of followers a minuscule amount of money compared to what they're making so they're making money on these black people yeah and some of these black people are making maybe five ten thousand dollars a month by their videos but when YouTube doesn't like the content, what do they do? They still profit from those viewers that these YouTubers are getting, but they cut the YouTubers' money out. So it's not even fair. That's why I said we need our own platform. I talked about one um, last time I did a video, but I haven't had a chance to go in there, pay my $5. I'm just, I'm trying to move right now. So as soon as I get, which will be next month, I'm going to send, um, Cynthia G, um, I'm going to join her Patreon and give her $5 a month for a year, and I'm going to join this black spot, see what it is, and I'm going to join it for six months, and then if I like it, I'm going to join it for another six months. And if I see another YouTuber on there that I like what they're doing, and they're, because they're reporting news, and I don't know if you know that most people are getting their news from YouTube. That's why these conspiracy theories that put Donald Trump in office, these white folks are watching these videos and these white people are spreading all kind of lies. They've got, that's why Hillary lost this YouTube. People are not watching CNN anymore. They're looking at these videos. So I even encourage you, if you have a notion to put up a, a YouTube channel for yourself, do it. 
and put content on it. I haven't quite figured out how it works yet, and I'm not asking for any money. But look, this is some serious shit going on right now. Okay, now, do you also know that <clears throat> um, this platform could be the start of us changing our ways? I really want you to get in there and start looking at some of these, um, Dr. Umar Johnson and some of these other black people that are waking us up. I'm telling you, it is amazing, and things are going kind of fast now. Technology is changing, and this this platform is a start, and I'm sure there's others. And if there are others, I would appreciate it if you make a comment below and help me become informed too. But this is the way of the future, and if we don't get on board now, we're going to be left uh, behind again. And you won't, you know, stop complaining. Get into the game. Get into the game and start supporting your own people because there's there's millions of us. And we can have our own network. And eventually, one of us will make our own platform independent of uh, the establishment. And, you know, so a few of us will get, become billionaires. That's okay. Millionaires, and be, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with it. We deserve, we built this country off of our backs, and we have nothing to show for it. So we do, it's just like this. You, do, most black people don't even put savings in their own account for their future. So you deprive other people of futures by not supporting. So first of all, put $5 a, a month in your own savings account consistently, and then support somebody in your race for five dollars a month I think if we do that we could get pretty far we'll have um, power and money you know money is power in the society we've got to start building something um, the old way we've been doing it is not working so I'm just an average lay person and I'm just speaking my mind so go there alright be blessed and be free.